What do you think that thing is? How the hell is it going? I had my doubts at first. Your man Quinton seems a reasonable sort. That and every moment he's talking instead of Havel, the better chance we'll have of setting things straight. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You learn everything you needed?
It's not time yet, is it? I'm always with you, Clive. Tell me this is all you need. Ah, oh, you make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. Tell me this is all you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <sighs> And... And a cogwheel. Just a tiny one. Though, that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Wait. The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that cog. Don't look at me like that, Clive. I already apologised to Blackthorn. Miserable old bugger. Besides, you can't expect me to keep track of every nut and nail floating about this place. It's a mess! Sid, is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? Is it an airship? I bet it's an airship! Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales. Oh, the one you forgot! We remember. We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. That's good to know. Look. I found it. Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your... hoard. Just in case. Thanks, Sid. Back for another part. We've got screws and bolts and nails and nobbles and noodles and, um... When you return, would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your last. <laughs> Is that so? We'll need to find some more parchments then. Has Mitterdoll mentioned a new project yet?
the Abbot. They did. And they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? It's perfect! You're a genius, Clive. What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. But with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. That should do her. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Titan's tits. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Honestly... These bloody engines are driving me mad! I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes, children, their mums, and their dads. Like I lost mine. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head, or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying, but imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. Right. When this is over, I'm gonna take all my Mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work... All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one, so that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one, yeah. <laughs> right. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? 
only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. What shall I do with your model? You spent a lot of time on it. We both did. What, that old thing? Not healthy to cling to your failures, Clive. But weigh you down, you know. Sound advice. Still, I suppose my prototypes will probably be worth a fair bit when I'm as famous as Bart's the Builder. Seeing as you're always strapped for coin, suppose I can give it to you. Just make sure you get a good price when you do come to part with it. I'd say that was up to you as much as me. All right, Clive. <sighs> Make a name for yourself. You better bloody I do and all. Enjoy it while you can, Clive. <sighs> Imagine that, eh? <laughs> Till then, though. Give a melon off, Clive. Should I write next? <laughs> Say what you will, Lady Karen has seen herself. Is there out you need? Be careful out there. Trouble with your gear, or for saying for you, dear. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh... Good morrow to you, my friend. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it.
Did you learn everything you needed? New back, sir. All done? How are you doing? Quick look. Think you can help? Twin so It's hundreds of leagues away. That'd mean the crystal is massive. <laughs> 